This video demonstrates sample preparation by milling of non-ferrous spectral samples. The main switch on the control unit is switched on. The machine is reset into start position. The sample is fixed in a standard three-point chuck. With a height measurement device the cutting head is set on sample level indicated by a red LED and the standard cutting head has five turnable cutters. On the control unit the installed cutter head of 80 mm diameter is preset. This switch sets the feeding speed of the sample under the cutting head in millimeters per minute. This switch is set to the next bigger diameter marking of the actual sample size and the sample moves in fast mode to the cutting head and with the preset feeding speed under the cutting head. This feature is a time optimization for the whole milling process. The far right switch sets the cutting speed in steps up to a maximum cutting head rotation of 3600 rpm. Here the display shows the rotation speed. In position A the cutting head rotation can be manually set continuously from 0 to 3600 rpm for finding optimal cutting parameters for any special material now set at 900 rpm. The sample is fixed in the chuck. Now the sample height is measured and the level is indicated by a red LED. The cutting depth is set one tenth of a millimeter between two long markings. The machine is started and the sample travels forward under the cutting head to be milled. Here you see the milling in detail and after each pass the sample stays fixed for one second in front of the cutting head to set the next layer of cutting depths. The minimum cutting depths can be set to two hundredths of a millimeter. The maximum cutting depths can be set to about two millimeters. Here you see a big piston alloy sample of approximately 70 millimeter diameter. For fixing such a sample so-called reverse brackets are supplied a standard accessory. And here you see a variety of samples of different dimensions. For such thin samples special brackets for low samples are supplied. In noble metal industry samples are very thin often in the size of a coin and have to be fixed in such special brackets. Here you see the display is being reset from RPM to indicate directly the cutting speed.
The standard cutting hat takes spare type cutters with four cutting blades. In order to have a very smooth sample surface, these cutters have to be aligned on same level. This is done when the cutters are turned or exchanged. The variance here is set to plus or minus five hundredths of a millimeter.